Hi folks, Trapper Hat Johnny here. So, you can see I got two chainsaws here. Okay. I bought this Poodlin. Uh, it's, what is it? Yeah, it's a 3314, 33cc, 14 inch bar. Uh, what I had to do, I changed the chain, I think once. And then uh, last fall, it, the saw wouldn't start. So I think, hmm, what could be wrong with it? So in the end, it turned out it was collapsed fuel line. Okay, right at the fuel filter. So I was able to change that. That was no problem. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what I paid for this. Uh, I've had this for probably about 10 years. I'm going to figure I paid about $250 for it, somewhere in that area. But it's a good saw. Okay, it's not bad. It's not a bad saw. So, I'm going to see if it'll start. I haven't had these saws running in uh, probably about a month. But let's see what I can do. Another thing too is, you ever notice saws, chainsaws, are made for right-handed people? I'm mostly a left-handed person, so I kind of got to do things differently, okay? Prime there. Whoop. Wait, a lot of compression on this one. Holy man. <clears throat> uh, a little difficult. which means I got to kind of do things backwards I can't operate a chainsaw right-handed I can do that so okay so as you can see this tree here this I've been wanting to take this tree down for uh, uh, a few months now poplar tree it's pretty much dead I want to take it down under uh, a very controlled situation. I don't want it falling down. I want it felled properly and safely. So this saw, now yeah, I could have put a larger bar on it, but I don't want to modify it, okay? I don't want to be doing any of that. So, but this, this saw obviously, just a little too short. That bar is just a little too short for that tree, okay? So I wanted to get another saw. I was looking at them, pricing them up. It's like, wow, for the amount of uh, chainsaw work I have to do, I just can't justify spending that kind of money. So I end up getting this one. Okay, now before I got this one, I did order up a new chainsaw from uh, Princess Auto. It was a remanufactured. I think it was $150, 50cc, 20 inch bar. Okay, I ordered it and I was waiting and waiting for the update as, okay, yeah, 
we got your order we're shipping it to you but two days after I put in my order I get an email from PA saying that they're sold out so I thought oh great now what am I gonna do now this here is a home hardware is branded Radley so chances are it's the same saw that I ordered from Princess Auto uh, what did I pay for this I think it was about 260 I think it's 50 cc 20 inch bar you even get a scabbard with it you know and I read some reviews and I was watching on YouTube other people apparently a lot of the issues with the uh, the muffler okay the muffler gets clogged up uh, with like the two-stroke oil and stuff so that's an issue but I'm sure when you think about it even the pooling and other brands would probably have the same issue now a lot of people are knocking this stuff because once again and I can't stand these people uh, snobs right my philosophy is buy what you can afford and sometimes yeah you might have to kind of just step a little bit over your budget to make sure you get something that's going to be reliable okay so I bought this uh, I only did demonstration I'm just testing it out on some other uh, tree stumps that I had around here so once again this saw I haven't had it running in probably about a month so I'm gonna give it a go okay let's try this ah. running about a, about a month so I'm sure some of that two-stroke oil is sitting you know at the bottom there Now, if I was a professional tree feller running a service, would I buy this? Absolutely not. No way. 
if I was running my business, I would spend the money, probably buy like $800 chainsaws because that's a different situation altogether, right? You're in that business, your chainsaw, that's the tools of your trade. You want reliability, ease of repair, you know, where you can get parts, you can get all those things, right? You're cutting down a tree. You don't want your chainsaw, even just for yourself, you don't want the saw to conk out partway through. Very, very dangerous. But just for the average homeowner, you know, just wants to kind of take care of his property, maybe even cut some firewood. Something like this is just fine. It's perfect for that job. Okay. So that's, that's just how I feel. So... Yeah, so I'm quite happy with this little unit. A lot of the reviews, they were being knocked. But for me, for what I need it to do, it's going to be just fine. Okay. Actually, I think there might be some wood over there I can cut. I'm going to take a walk over there and just demonstrate this, okay? not be true I was gonna say chances are this is manufactured by the same company manufactures this but that's not true okay but you know it suits me I did that little demonstration there not a big deal but tackling that great big poplar that's gonna be a that's gonna be a good one so that's why I bought the rattle a rattle is just a brand name of course now on the pooling I definitely got to sharpen up that chain. I got my file here. I'll have to sharpen the chain. Another thing too is, you might think, well, where am I going to get a, a bar and chain for this Radley? It's because it's not really a, a well-known name. But you know what? Oregon. You can put an Oregon bar, Oregon chain on this. You just got to make sure your chain matches. That's that's all you got to do. Okay, folks. This trapper had Johnny wishing you a good day and be good to each other. Bye bye, folks.